Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to rvccis.info, where the full-time faculty for Rock Valley College's Computers and Information Systems talks to you about vaguely related things to computers and information systems. Today, as you may have noticed, we do have a special guest with us here is Kara Schultz. Say howdy. Hello. Um, here, I will go through and introduce everybody while we're still here. Now we've got five people in the screen. I'm sure this is going to blow everybody's mind. Um, over to my left is Jim Conley. Hey. Down from there, we have Stephanie Washer. Hi. Over from that, wait, this way. Uh, again, we have Kara Schultz, our special Thank guest. Woohoo! Uh, up from there, Chuck Conkle. Hey, everybody and me, Eric Wolf. So today, uh, what we thought we would do is have a little interaction with Career Services to let you guys know all of those uh, ancillary wraparound services that probably you aren't utilizing to their fullest potential. So take us away, Kara. All right, well, welcome everyone. It's been fun doing Zoom. I miss seeing everyone's faces, but hopefully someday in the near future we'll be able to connect again. But thank God for te technology and you guys doing this awesome Zoom event so we can spread the news. Um, so as Eric mentioned, I'm Kara Schultz. I'm one of the career advisors at Rock Valley and I work in the career services department. A majority of my job is actually advising students in our career and technical education pathways um, for degrees and certificates, and that includes all of our computer science students, including web. So it's been a great pleasure to do that and continue working with, with you guys. So please reach out anytime I'm here. Uh, when we are on campus, I'm in the WTC building where all the computer science classes are located up on the second floor. Uh, for now, I'm working from home and I'm accessible via phone and email. So the best way to reach us right now is our RBC Career Services email address, which will be posted on the link. Correct. So um, the other services that we provide through Career Services that really aren't utilized as much as they could be is our resume and um, cover letter workshops, as well as just plain appointments. So you can schedule an appointment to meet with a career coach or an advisor to go over your resume. Uh, hopefully in the future we'll be able to partner with um, the CIS department again and actually do a live version of that so we can get you guys read your, uh, ready for internships and looking for jobs. So that's always exciting things. We do host rvcjobs.com as well and that is a um, place where students can find job listings and also build resumes within that so there's a kind of a field text form field um, that you just enter things into and then it builds it right into a specialized um, resume builder so sometimes that's helpful other people prefer to do it just through word themselves or other ways uh, moving on for looking at fall registration that is currently going on we did open up as usual for that back in April and so now is a really good time still to get started in adding some fall classes um, helping students every day of the week, Monday through Friday, to do that between eight and five uh, with email. You know, I'm getting student emails nine, 10 o'clock at night that I get to in the morning, but you can reach out to us really easily via email actually so that we can follow up and help you register. We do have a little video we can send you. So I know a lot of the students I've worked with in the past weren't as comfortable using online services to register themselves, especially if they're new. So um, that video is, shows the point and click process through that registration, which is great. Um, and then we can answer everything from financial aid questions or directing you to the right path. So really, once you're connected with us, we can help make sure that everything goes as smoothly as possible. Uh, financial aid, you can reach them at rvc dot, or, sorry, rvc-fia at rockvalleycollege.edu. And then if you're not particularly taking classes in CIS, but maybe you're a transfer student that's taking just a few prerequisites or you want to dabble in CIS, you can also work the, the um, regular academic and transfer advising office and you can reach them at rvc-ata at rockvalleycollege.edu. So everyone's checking in from home and trying to connect as best as we can with students to, um, you know, make sure that you guys feel comfortable and connected to Rock Valley before you get started on classes. The first payment deadline for fall is July 21st. So even if you were to register now, you've still got a whole month before the first payment is due. So 
I get a lot of questions about whether or not you have to wait for financial aid to process and you don't. So you can start financial aid now, you can start registration now, and then wait for that stuff to kind of filter out through financial aid. You've got a whole month for that stuff to kick in, which is great. Um, trying to think of anything else. Oh, yes. So for our new students who haven't been able to test because of the virus and campus being closed, there is a form online through Rock Valley, which you can fill out to waive or defer your placement testing right now so that you're able to register. And that's really important, even for our current students who maybe wanted to retest or were missing a test score in math, let's say, you can go ahead and fill that out so you can continue and not have to wait until we're back on campus for testing services. Um, I'm trying to think if I forgot anything else. I mean, I always look forward when I talk with students that hey, even though it's July, you need to be thinking about spring registration as well. And so to keep in mind that stuff comes out in October for that and that our grad and certificate applications are due October 1st. So you might be planning out your last semester, but that does come up quickly here. So I don't know. Is there anything else you could think of that I may have missed? Yeah, hey, Kara, what's, the, what's the one thing students forget when they talk to you that, that might be helpful for them to have when they talk to you on the phone or um, in the future coming there? Is there something that they, a lot of them miss it? That they, yeah, sometimes, especially um, new students, the process is that you fill out the application and then a few days later, you usually receive an email to set up your, your account. And so a lot of students sometimes are looking for that or they forgot to set up their account on time. We can help get that, um, that resent out if we need to or just making sure that your password is ready to go. As soon as you have your password and you can access everything, you can jump right into registration. So okay. that's one of the big things All that right. we talk about. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, you know, we can also look at, you know, how far along you are in your program. That's a big part of it for our current students. So those students who are already in CIS programs who think they're nearing completion. I know you guys do a lot of help with that as well, but they can always reach out to us and we'll do a degree eval and help them identify what courses they still have left to continue in their plan. So, Yeah, because I want to add that Kara is usually available more than we are um, because we're busy. <laughs> that's, that's the thing that I've been doing. <laughs> I'm like, go to Kara, she'll help you out. Yes. And then she'll come back to me if you need a substitution. Yes. Because we only offer classes, uh, some classes are once a year. So Kara knows all that, and mm -hmm. she's excellent. She's been extremely helpful, and she'll reach out to whatever instructor needs to be contacted to with any questions, whether it's a waiver or a substitution. So. Yes, and it's helpful. We do have a really good relationship, partially because we're on the same floor. Our offices are right next to one another, but it's really easy to work with you guys too. So, thank you. Yeah, well, we, we kind of feel like you're, you have been so great for our students and uh, we, we kind of have a soft spot in our heart for you. Aww. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah. We appreciate everything you do for us, Kara. Yep. Well, thank Absolutely. you. Yeah, we just want to, I mean, it's always a passion of mine to make sure students, you know, have a good experience at Rock Valley like I did when I was a student there and, mm -hmm. you know, that it's successful and, you know, we might not always be perfect and, everyone's learning in this new process of everything being completely online and so you know we're all here and we want to be as accessible as possible for sure I think that would be it as far as general questions I can think of for students so I mean obviously there's so many more that come out so many more questions that are very specific to each individual student's needs like how many classes should they enroll in um, do they want to be full-time? Do they want to be part-time? So I think there is some confusion there about what is a full-time and part-time student. So part-time is really anyone that takes nine credits or less, which on average, it's three-ish classes. In CIS, you've got a few four-credit hour classes. So sometimes it's just two in that case. But um, anything over 12 for financial aid purposes to be full-time, you know, your typical um, student would take 14 to 16 credits approximately every fall and spring to stay on that pathway for a two-year degree completion but your students really have you know they've done a really good job loading up on classes sometimes and being very successful so there's a lot of motivated students and it's really up to each individual student's plan how far they want to go with it because um, I've had students working full-time taking full-time loads which I don't necessarily recommend but if they're successful that's awesome and we support that um, and there's other students that just want to get started and they kind of have a two-year plan, but we talk about, you know, if you take it slow, getting into it and ease into it, that 
you can always pick up stuff later and kind of pick up speed over the summers and whatnot. So yeah, I mean, we're just, it's a individual conversation and I'm doing a lot of probably less Zoom meetings with students and more over the phone in general, but there is still that one-on-one -on -one contact. And then I'm always sure, especially since we're not in person to send a really detailed follow-up email with links and what we talked about so they're not confused um, moving forward. That's far more awesome than we are. That is great. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> well, you provide the prereq waiver, so thank you for that. <laughs> Literally the minimum that we can do. Um, <laughs> even then we drag our feet probably a little bit. So that is awesome. Um, like we had mentioned previously, the links to career services, financial aid, some of the general numbers will be um, in the description below. So if there was anything we went over um, here in the video, you ought to be able to find links to that. And if not, you can leave us a comment here uh, on our channel to let us know if you are planning on registering, if you've had a great experience, because there are no terrible experiences here um, when working with career services and advising, uh, or anything else to do um, with the RVC process, go ahead and leave us a comment there. Be sure also uh, to follow us on Twitter and Facebook at RVCCISinfo. Um, and as always, stay safe and stay sane out there, everybody.